Hey, welcome back to another video. Today, I'm gonna to go over five reasons why I think you should buy the GMT 900 Tahoe. Also known as the third gen Chevrolet Tahoe from 07 to 2014. And I will have a bonus at the end. First, I have to talk about the powertrain options. So there are two popular motor options for this Tahoe. I have the 4.8 liter ALS um, V8. It's the standard motor on the two wheel drive versions and it gets 14 to 20 miles per gallon. I'm getting 15.5 miles per gallon and I live in the city, so that's not too bad. So it's about 50-50 between city use and highway use. I live right off the main highway, so I drive on the highway, then I immediately go into the city and it has 295 horsepower, which isn't all that bad. The other popular engine option is the 5.3 liter V8 with 320 horsepower. So you get more power, but you get less gas mileage at around 12 to 19 miles per gallon. And that is a flex fuel engine, which is notorious for burning oil. Keep an eye on the oil, and if it gets low, keep it topped off, you should be good, but you will be burning through catalytic converters. And of course, I know you want to know the reliability with these motors, and I'll touch on that a little bit later in the video. Then there's also the hybrid option, which is the 6 liter LS. Those aren't nearly as popular, but they're out there. And depending on the rear gear and the engine option, you will be looking at around 45 to 6,500 pounds of towing capacity. The 4.8 base model has 4,500, but it's not fully based because we got leather seats. In my opinion, this Tahoe is the best looking SUV for this decade. And there's a lot of people who agree with me. And because of that, there's a decent amount of aftermarket parts. Since this is a two wheel drive version, it's more of a you know street warrior. And there are a lot of these Tahoes that are being lowered and looking very clean. And then there's also them being lifted, typically four wheel drive models, and they look mean and aggressive. Uh, I like both styles. To me, it doesn't make sense to lift a two-wheel drive version because it's meant for the streets. And then you and throw some big tires on it. These headlights are a bit yellowed. You could Cerakote them or you could easily buy an aftermarket clean LED option. And that wouldn't be a bad way to go. It would modernize the Tahoe a good bit because the LED lights is a telltale sign of a nice modern car. And with modernizing the vehicle, this is a standard double din. So you can easily remove it and install a nice Apple CarPlay. And you can throw on a rear view camera on there. Since this is a OA option and not the 2014, it doesn't come with parking sensors. You could easily upgrade it to have those sensors. While we're in the Tahoe, we had to talk about its practicality and its comfort. We have driven this Tahoe basically cross country multiple times and it is very comfortable. This particular option has leather seats and they're very nicely cushioned. It has power forward and back up and down, but it does have a lever to go back and forth, which has proven time at the time that having less electronics in your seats is a good idea because replacing those motors can get pricey. That's Layla's spot right there. And this cabin has a lot of room. It's very comfortable. I'm not hitting my legs on anything. We have a big storage spot right here, just within reach of the passenger, but not too close and not too far. And here's the second row seats. I'm not even close to hitting the front seat. I'm 5'8". And if you have a big family, these tiles can come with a third row seat back here, which all you have to do is flip this up, which is super easy to get into. And while I'm back here, I have to talk about how much space this Tahoe has. So with that third row seats, you already have a huge amount of space. But with both seats folded up, I could almost sleep in here. I could definitely sleep this way. Which brings me to my next topic, a no build camper back here. Move those seats, throw air mattress back here. You have a camper. I know me and my lady could sleep in this spot here and all of this would be storage. So a no build camper might be a good way to go. That'd be kind of cool. I would hate to ruin this interior because the exterior is so clean. The interior is very clean too. Now, how much would one of these beauties cost you? My Tahoe has about 178,000 miles, two wheel drive. You'd be looking at around seven to $8,000. And a low mile four x four option would be looking at around $12,000, which really is not that bad for a family vehicle. And on top of that, it's a used SUV, so the insurance is gonna be fairly cheap as well. And then because it's used, 
it's already been depreciated a fair amount. So you're not losing a whole bunch of money if you were to buy an SUV brand new. And then just because it's used doesn't mean it's not reliable. So that finally gets me to its reliability. So this is the 4.8 liter LS. It's not the flex fuel with the AFM, automatic fuel management system. So it's a lot more of a simple engine. But with that, at 172 miles, the only main issue that happened was that the engine failed. And that was not the truck's fault. Technically, this is a one owner truck. Bought it from my fiance's father. And he's always taking the Tahoe to the dealership to get an oil change. And of course, change out the brake pads and all that stuff. But it just so happens when I got the Tahoe, at 172,000 miles, uh, the drain plug was loose. And I figured since it kept on getting replaced at a dealership, nothing to worry about, I don't need to check the drain plug. And then ultimately, ran the Tahoe with no oil and uh, the lifters broke apart and started to scar the uh, camshaft. It is what it is. So I bought a used motor for about $1,000 and then replaced the motor. It was a huge learning curve, but it's definitely doable. Now, outside of that fluke, these motors can last 300,000 miles if you take care of it and more, they can. So always check your oil so you don't have the issue I had. And the only other issue that I had and basically throughout the Tahoe's life was that this heater core line failed. It's a cheap piece of plastic that connects that hose together and over time it can get brittle and ultimately break over so many heat cycles. So I got a new plastic piece and instead of snapping in the OEM way, I use a metal collar instead. And I haven't had any issues. That was a pretty easy fix. I could have done it on the side of the road. So with this new 142,000 mile motor, I'm very confident I can definitely travel cross country multiple times, uh, like we've already done, and which I'm about to do whenever me and my fiance gets married. And if something does go wrong, it's pretty easy to fix. Okay, so we're now at the bonus. And the bonus is that it is indeed made in Texas. So you always see those Toyota Tundras driving around in Texas, I live in Texas, saying, built here, live here. Guess what? I can do that too. I've earned my rite of passage. <laughs> now, although this Tahoe is beautiful and it's really worth buying, there are other reasons why you shouldn't buy it. And I'll cover that in a future video, so stay tuned. This is Chris Bills United. Always appreciate and respect one another. If you're into camper vans, I'm building one right there. So check out my channel. And if you like Tahoes, I have a Tahoe that I'm doing things on. I'll see you next time.